shad tubes, minnow tubes, soft plastic grubs. Get serious about trout and landlocked king trolling with serious soft plastics from the Fish Hunt Shoot Production Store. It's Kel Kellogg here. Um, that's right, we're gonna talk about getting skunked because I was out fishing yesterday and I got skunked hard. But before, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday was one of those days that makes my head hurt. I went to Collins Lake. Everything was perfect. Surface temperature, 52 degrees. Lake, heavily planted. Reports, people been catching tremendous fish out there. Um, the moon, wasn't a full moon, but a half a moon. When I got to the lake, I had a little overcast, a little mix of overcast and sun, had a little chop on the water. Man, it just checked all the boxes of what I was looking for, but I couldn't catch anything. I trolled spoons fast. I trolled spoons slow. I trolled rapalas, flies, threaded worms, gulp crawlers. I stopped and fished power bait. I fished inflated worms. I fished a worm under a bobber, and I didn't get one single bite. Meanwhile, I see this morning, there was some dude out there pulling a Rapala right off the main buoy line. He got a 12 pound rainbow. But uh, that wasn't the norm yesterday. I saw some of my buddies out there, they were getting skunked. I talked to one kayaker, he had two fish. I talked to one lady on the bank, she had one fish. I talked to another guy on the bank, he said he had one bite. Um, so, it, it wasn't good yesterday. And why? I don't know why. Um, Everything was there, the temperature, the conditions, it was all right, and I still couldn't buy a bite. That's part of the allure of fishing, you know? Sometimes you go out. Remember one time I was going out trolling with Mark Wilson, trolling for stripers in the Delta. It's February, February 12th. He called me the night before, he says, Cal, it's not gonna be very good. Well, I was taking a buddy, I says, Mark, can we catch anything? We'd just like a couple fish to take home for dinner. He goes, yeah, you know, whatever, we can manage that. If you don't know who Mark Wilson is, he is the preeminent troller in the Delta. I mean, he knows more about trolling for stripers in the Delta than anybody else. So he agreed to take us out. But we got out there, the first fish, the first fish I caught right away in the morning, 21 pounds. I ended up with a personal best 28 pounder. I caught several fish over 15. My buddy, he got three different personal bests on the day. Long story short, it's the best Delta Striper trolling day I've ever had, bar none. And Mark Wilson, the expert, thought it was going to be mediocre to poor at the best. This goes to show you, Sometimes when you think it's going to be horrible, it's great. And sometimes, like yesterday when I went to Collins Lake, you think it's going to be good or phenomenal, and you can't even get a bite. Well, the thing to know about this, though, is you don't want to let that shake your confidence. It's like, it's like back when I was playing baseball when I was young and limber. You know, some days you got hits, some days you didn't. But the worst thing you could do when you went out and had some strikeouts and didn't get a hit, maybe two games in a row when you couldn't get a hit, is to start second guessing your swing and your stride and your general, general approach to hitting, okay? Confidence means everything when it comes to hitting a baseball. Confidence means everything when it comes to catching fish. So if you go out and you get skunked hard like I did yesterday, Leave it there. Leave it in the past. Don't second guess your approach. You know, think about what went on. Think about did I do anything wrong. But beyond that, don't change your approach. Don't make drastic changes. Go out there the next time you go fishing. Stick with the basics. Stick with the stuff that's been catching you fish for years. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you catch fish again in the future. One day or two days or three days of bad fishing should not shake your confidence. It happens to everybody. It happens when the conditions are seemingly ideal. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Keep the confidence level up, <coughs> stick to the basics, and don't let a couple bad sessions on the water shake you. Things are going to come together for you again in the future. Put all that experience you've got to work and uh, you're going to be just fine. That's what I'm going to do next time I get out there and get after the fish. Okay.